there's been a lot of debate about whether strength or lethal weapon affects brawling but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that it does okay so let's take a look at it I have two characters one is uh, Leith has lethal weapon one just has bookworm so if you don't know lethal weapon is excuse me is this thing that it goes ahead and gives 10% to melee damage melee damage so what you should see is a difference in the stats and the performance so let's go ahead and check out the starting weapon it's a brawling weapon I'll go ahead and show both of these here uh, to start off I've given them uh, more coordination so they get more APs and they've got one in speed they're both the same skills three brawling one first aid and quirks gonna go with death wish so we have more APs for this demonstration once again let's go you can see she's got bookworm starting weapon brawling weapon attributes same thing you can compare skills first aid one brawling three so these are exactly the same and we're gonna test them out in a tutorial mission right from the beginning so let's let this uh, happen Hold him up, Team November. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 okay, they got pummel them. Uh, Just let them finish killing them. And they'll kill these guys first. And this is a good place to test things because it's pretty much the same every time. So let's uh, go in and check out these guys here. Let's take a look at the stats first. So if you look here, you'll see the stats look the same. There's the evasion. Let's go down to melee damage 116. This is bonus. Hers is 106. So you see the 10% there. But that doesn't, that may not be enough to uh, convince you. So let's go ahead and take a look. He's going to use this weapon. He does 6 to 10 with this weapon. Notice this, 6 to 9 with her weapon. So it's hard to show 10% at this low level because 10% of 6 is 0.6. So it may not show up, but you can see here, look at the difference. It is making a difference right here. So lethal weapon is making a difference here. If we look carefully, you'll notice the damage that they do per hit, and you'll start to see something. So let's get him over to, this is uh, four APs, this is five APs. Both of these guys have full health. Let's go ahead and show you. He's gonna go there, he should be able to hit him four times, so look closely. And that's 10. Eight. 10. So in one round, he's able to take one down. Okay, so that's 10, 8, 10. Okay, her turn next. Gonna do same kind of positioning. And watch carefully. 6. And 6. Notice a pattern here. 10. 6, 6, 10. And 10. So you can see the average of her hit. He only needed three hits to take him down. It could just be random, but you can see what happened there. So uh, that is basically, uh, she's hitting for sixes. He's hitting much, much higher. You'll notice hers, her weapon only hits six to nine. His weapon, on the other hand, hits six to 10. And you're starting to see the difference there. He's got another swing. Let's go ahead and swing at this guy. Any miss, of course. And they're going to get killed. So it would be interesting to try this with just dumping strength in there to see if strength makes a difference. People have said that that strength doesn't help. Come on, you piece of. Melee damage, There's the problem. but Hang the in thing there, is, is it, it should it. help him if we can pump strength into this uh, weapon. This is a, a 
basically a melee weapon, uh, brawling weapon, basically. But uh, you can see right here it does it. Okay, let's um, before we conclude this, let's go ahead and uh, try this right here. The first hit doesn't have a modifier on it, so here we go. Hits for one, hits for ten. He's only at one. Let's get hers into this. And of course, it's already got a combo. And notice that eight. She hits for less, see? And now it's like a multiplier, so it's gonna hit even harder. But look at how long it takes. Okay, so you can see the difference. He's hitting for 10, and once again, let's take a look at these characters. Once again, they're the same here. The only difference is one of them has lethal weapon and one does not. But like I said, this would be interesting if I could pump strength all the way, although the problem with that is I wouldn't have enough action points. I would probably be only able to take two swings and that's not enough to really show you. When you see a bunch of swings like this, you can kind of get an idea. And like I said, at the early part of the game, it is hard to tell. Maybe later on when you start hitting for 30 or 40, you'll start noticing uh, the 10% and then you can pump strength. See this strength here, melee damage bonus. It goes up to 35%. I've already tried on a couple characters by upping this, and I noticed that the, the uh, stats do change. And they change this stat right here. See that? 110, 116. So you can see right there. Give it a try, and let me know what you think.